Hey, what is happening? Uh, thank you for checking out my latest skirmish battle report for One Page Rules. Just a few notes that I'd like to point out before we get started. Uh, the first one is that while I was reproducing this video, um, One Page Rules was kind of going a little back and forth with a couple of rule changes for the core rules. I decided to stick with the 3.2 rules in which uh, people are stunned instead of shaken. Uh, for those who are like just learning how to play the game and everything, I know that's a little confusing. But uh, just to let you know that these are like older rules and you can still pretty much learn how to play the game by, by uh, following along with the video and everything. But uh, just going to let you know that these are the older rules. The second note that I'd like to point out is that um, in this battle report that I produced, I have three or four units that all have a sergeant in it. And uh, I went back, I was reviewing the rules, and uh, in command groups it says each army may have only one model with one of the following upgrades, and one of those is a sergeant. So I'm pretty sure I did that wrong. I think yeah, I can only have one sergeant within this whole army, if I'm reading that correctly. If not, just let me know in the comments. But uh, the crazy thing is that in Army Forge, it lets you put a sergeant within each unit and the points reflect that. So in a way, you're not really getting away with it if you want to play it that way. Like the points will reflect and someone that you're playing against will actually have to match those points or, you know, get close to it. So just wanted to kind of like point that out. And lastly, you know, just a big thanks to the Wargaming community uh, for watching these videos. Like they're they're doing a lot better than I thought they would for, you know, so I just starting out for no Wargaming and everything. Um, I'm having a good time producing them, uh, even though I'm butchering like some of the rules and some of the videos. Uh, I'm getting better at it and like uh, big thanks to the people who are commenting. Most of the time people are being really polite and really cool about like, you know, hey, you should have done this instead of that and everything. And then, you know, these what these videos are about, you know, so like even if I do something in this current video that you're getting ready to watch, you know, just politely like, you know, hey, you should have done this instead of that at minute marker or whatever, you know. And I think because of that, like a lot of people are going to get into uh, one page rules and war gaming all together because, you know, we're learning how to do it through these videos. So big thanks. I hope you enjoyed the show. Once a beacon of unity and stability, the old empire collapsed. After two heirs of the kingdom clashed in a devastating war, a new senate was created to restore order to what was left of the human empire. Battlemasters, accompanied with lists of warband units, are dispatched throughout the old kingdom to reclaim deserted towns and monuments. Hidden within the tangled embrace of overgrown foliage, lies a relic, an abandoned monastery. Echoes of forgotten whispers and faded dreams linger within its crumbling walls. To bring this house back to its original glory, filled with the devout monks, would be a crucial step into boosting the morale of the local community. The human empire will find that the monastery doors are open. Is this an invitation for the prodigal sons to come home? Or is it something else, inviting these explorers to unravel the mysteries that shroud its forsaken halls? Round 1. The Ratman will be activating first in this scenario. The Ratman will be following the solo enemy AI rules which can be downloaded at OnePageRules.com in the resources section of any game set. I will also be activating each Ratman unit starting with the lowest point value and then working my way up to the highest point value. First activation. I am going to identify the Rat Militia as a hybrid unit as in its attack for both melee and range are equal in power. The AI rules command that the Rat Militia unit is to rush towards the closest objective, which would be Objective 2.
the Ratman potentially had control of Objective 2. Crossbow marksmen of the Human Empire noticed a Rat Militia setting up on Objective 2 and take a standard 6-inch movement to take cover behind a broken wall and bushes. They have a shot through the window in the bushes at the militia. There are three models in the marksman unit, but one of them is a sergeant with special attack rules, so I will roll for the two standard crossbows first, and then roll for the sergeant. Crossbows, two dice attack with rending, had a quality of 5+. plus. Rending ignores regeneration. An unmodified results of 6 to hit, get an AP of 4. And they owe and get a 3 and a 4, so no hits. And now for the sergeant. The sergeant model gets plus one hits for every successful roll. Crossbow, one dice attack with rending, and sergeant had a quality of five plus. And gets a five. So the sergeant adds one hit for a total of two. The militia is looking for a defense of six plus against two hits. And only gets a four and a five. Two models are now removed from the rap militia unit. Next in points value are the Rat Warriors with Halberds. They were rushed towards Objective 1, but with the terrain blocking the way, they will fall short of reaching it. The Human Empire Battlemaster will bravely rush straight in the front door of the ruined monastery and challenge occupation of Objective 2. The Rat Sniper has a special of Slow. Slow is a minus 2 in movement when using Advance, and a minus 4 in movement when using a Rush or a Charge activation. When shooting, a unit may shoot through ally units to hit an enemy. The Sniper will move just enough to have a clear shot at the Human Empire Spear unit. The Sniper has an AP of 1 so the target will get minus one in defense rolls. And the sniper also has a special of reliable, which will upgrade its range attack from a quality five plus to a two plus. Sniper rifle, one dice attack with AP one, had a quality of two plus. And it gets a six. Minus the one AP, the spear unit is now looking at a six plus in defense. And it only gets a three, which is modified down to a two. One model is removed from the spear unit. The hybrid unit, seeing what has happened to the spearing unit, and decides to take cover behind the terrain and sit up closer to objective one. The rat spear warriors rush for objective three and take cover behind terrain. The rat men potentially have objective three. The rifle unit will take a standard 6 inch movement and take cover behind a tree. From there they can just barely take a shot at their rat spear unit. Rifles have an AP of 1, but the rat men are under cover for a plus 1 in defense, so they will cancel each other out. Again, one of the models in the rifle unit is a sergeant, so I will roll for attacks separately. Rifles, two dice attack at a quality of five plus. And only gets two fours, so no hits. The sergeant has a sniper rifle with reliable for a two plus attack. Sniper rifle, one dice attack at a quality of two plus. And gets a five. The sergeant special adds another hit for a total of two. The rat spear unit is looking at a five plus in defense against two hits. And gets a three and a six. So one save and one model is removed from the unit. There isn't much for the Rat Battlemaster to do other than rush towards Objective 2, but the Rat Militia is in the way. For the last activation of Round 1, what is left of the Human Empire Spear Unit will enter the Monastery and assist the Battlemaster.
At the end of round one, both factions are closing in on objective one. Objective two is being challenged. And objective three is now occupied by the Rat Spear unit, rewarding them the first victory point of the night. Round 2. The Ratmen will activate first because they were the first to finish all of their activations in the last round. The Rat Militia is going to hold position and use the range attack against the Human Empire Battle Master. Slings, a 3 dice attack at a quality of 6 plus. And they get a 1, a 4, and a 5, so no hits. Crossbow Marksmen of the Human Empire will also hold position and shoot back at the Rat Militia. First, we will roll for the two standard models in the unit. Crossbows, two dice attack with rending at a quality of five plus. And they get a two and a five, so one hit. The Militia is looking to roll a six in defense. And that is exactly what they get. Now rolling for the Sergeant. Crossbow, one dice attack with rending and sergeant at a quality of five plus, and only gets a two. The rat warriors with halberds take an advanced movement to potentially capture objective one. The human empire riflemen will use the advanced movement to get a little closer to the rat spearmen and then use a range attack. The AP of 1 will still be cancelled by cover. First we will roll for the two standard riflemen. Rifles, two dice attack at a quality of 5 plus. And they get two ones, so no hits. Now we will roll for the sergeant. Sniper Rifle, one dice attack at a quality of two plus, and gets a six. Into Sergeant Special adds another hit for a total of two hits. The Rat Spear unit is looking for a five plus in defense against two hits. And they get a three and a five. So one save and one more model is removed from the unit. The Rat Sniper would advance a little more and take a shot at the Halberd unit. The sniper has an AP of 1, but the halberd unit is under cover to cancel the effect. Sniper rifle. One dice attack at a quality of 2 plus, And gets a 6. The halberd unit is looking at a plus 5 in defense. And only gets a 2. One model is removed from the halberd unit. The human empire spear unit will charge in and melee with the rat militia unit. First, we will roll for the standard spear model. Spear, one dice attack at a quality of 5 plus, and only gets a 1. Now rolling for the sergeant. Spear, one dice attack at a quality of 5 plus with sergeant, and only gets a 3, so wasted activation. The spear unit will move back 1 inch to show that they are not locked in combat, and they will also get a fatigue marker. The Rat Spear Warrior Unit only has a sergeant left, but chooses to charge in on the Human Empire Rifle Unit. Spear, one dice attack at a quality of 5 plus with sergeant. And only gets a 1, so the Spear Sergeant gets no hits and is now fatigued. The Rifle Unit chooses to strike back, rolling for the two standard models first. Hand weapons, two dice attack at a quality of five plus, and gets two fives for two hits. The spear sergeant is looking for a two dice offense of five plus, 
and gets a three and a five. So one is defended and one is for a wound. Rolling for wound check. And gets a one plus one for two, which only leaves the spear sergeant stunned. Stun units are to remain idle until the end of the round. And they also cannot hold objectives. And they are to remain stunned until the end of the next round. If a stun unit receives hits from shooting or from a charge action, they are automatically knocked out. Now we will roll for the rifle sergeant to see if it can knock out the spear sergeant. Hand weapons. One dice attack with sergeant at a quality of 5 plus and only gets a four. And now the rifle unit is fatigued. The human empire battlemaster will hold position and use a range attack at the rat militia. Twin pistol, two dice attack with AP one at a quality of four plus. And gets a one and a five, so only one hit. The rat militia is looking for a one dice defense at six and only gets a two, which is modified down to a one. Another rat militia model is removed from the unit. The rat battle master will charge around the rat militia to melee with the human empire spear unit. The human empire spear unit has a special of counter in which they get to strike first when being charged. First, the standard spear model. Spears, one dice attack with counter at a quality of five plus and only gets a two. Now rolling for the sergeant. Spears, one dice attack with counter and sergeant at a quality of five plus and also gets a two. Wasted counter attack. And now the rat battle master may continue with its attack. Heavy halberd, three dice attack with AP one and rending at a quality of four plus. Here comes the drop. A one, a five, and a six. So two hits, one of them has rending, which adds AP of four. So now the spear unit is looking at a five plus for one hit, and the only way to get out of the rending attack is to roll a six, because sixes always succeed regardless of modifiers. Let's resolve the modified rending attack first. Looking for a six, and only gets a one. Automatic fail, and one model is removed from the unit. Now rolling against the regular hit, looking for a five plus, and only gets a four. We are down to one model in the spear unit, so now we will roll for wound check. It gets a three plus one for a total of four, so the spear unit is now stunned. For the last activation of round two, what's left of the Human Empire Halberd unit will charge against a Rat Halberd unit. As the Human Empire moves into range, the Rat Man will lose potential control of Objective 1. Rolling for the standard Halberd model. Halberds, one dice attack with rending at a quality of five plus and gets a six with rending, so a AP of four. The rat spear unit is looking for a six to beat the rending. Oof, and only gets a one for an automatic fail. One model is removed from the unit. Now rolling for the sergeant. Halberds, one dice attack with rending and sergeant at a quality of five plus and gets a five plus one hit with the sergeant rule. The rat spear unit is looking for a two dice defense of five plus and only gets a three and a four. So one more model is removed from the spear unit and then for the other hit, we will roll for wound check. One plus one is two and the rat spear unit is stunned. Stun units cannot control objectives. So now the human empire potentially have objective one. At the end of round two, the human empire has gained control of objective one, earning their first victory point of the night. Objective two is still being challenged. 
and as far as Objective 3, the Rat Spear unit has left the Objective Zone, but Objectives are still sieged even after a unit leaves. So Objective 3 is still under control of the Ratman, keeping their victory point. Human Empire 1, Ratman 1. Round 3. The Ratman will activate first because again, they were first to finish all of their activations in the last round. Both armies are losing models, and both have units that are stunned. We are probably looking at a bloody round 3. First activation. The Rat Militia is going to charge and attack the Human Empire Spear unit that is currently stunned. If a stunned unit takes a hit from shooting, or even if it is charged, then they are automatically knocked out. So the last model of a Human Empire Spear unit is removed from play. The crossbow marksmen of the Human Empire will hold position again and shoot back at the Rat Militia. First we will roll for the two standard models in the unit. Crossbows, two dice attack with rending at a quality of 5+. And they only get a 3 and a 4, so no hits. Now rolling for the Sergeant. Crossbow, 1 dice attack with Rending and Sergeant at a quality of 5+. Plus. And also only gets a 4, so no hits for that activation. The Rat Sniper will advance a little more and take the first clear shot at the Halberd unit. Sniper Rifle, one dice attack with AP1 at a quality of 2+, plus, and gets a 4. With an AP of 1, the Halberd unit is looking to roll a 6 in defense. It only gets a 4, that is modified down to a 3. So one more model is removed from the Halberd unit. The Human Empire Rifleman will charge into the last Rat Spearman that is currently stunned, and automatically remove it from play. The Rat Men will lose their first entire unit. The Rat Battlemaster will charge and take on the Human Empire Battlemaster. Heavy Halberd, a 3 dice attack with AP 1 and Rending at a quality of 4. Plus. Oof, and gets a 1 and 2 sixes, so 2 hits with Rending. The Human Empire Battlemaster is looking to roll two sixes in defense and only gets a one in a five. The Human Empire Battlemaster has a special of tough three. So this model can take three wounds before it needs to roll for a wound check. But for now, it will take its first two. The Human Empire Battlemaster would choose to strike back at the Rat Battlemaster. Heavy Hand Weapon, 3 dice attack with AP1 at a quality of 4+, plus. and gets 3 and 2 4s for 2 hits. With an AP of 1, the Rat Battlemaster is looking to roll at least 2 5s in defense, and only gets a 2 and a 4. The Rat Battlemaster also has a special of tough 3, so it will receive 2 wounds without having to roll for wound check. The Human Empire Halberd unit will charge at the Rat Halberd unit that is currently stunned and automatically remove it from play. Now the Rat Men have lost two complete units. For the last activation of Round 3, the Human Empire Battlemaster will charge at the Rat Battlemaster. Because of the strike back order that it used earlier, the Human Empire Battlemaster is fatigued and will only be able to hit on sixes. Heavy Hand Weapon, 3 dice attack with AP1 at a quality of 6. Here comes the drop. Oh, it only gets a 1, a 3, and a 4. 
At the end of round three, the human empire still has control of objective one. Objective two is still being challenged. And for objective three, the rat men still have control, but it looks like the human empire rifle unit will be able to easily march over and take control in the final round. Human Empire 1, Ratman 1. Final round. Both armies have sustained heavy losses. The Ratman will activate first. The Rat Militia is going to charge into the Human Empire Battlemaster. Hand weapons. Two dice attack at a quality of six plus. And only gets a two and a five. The Human Empire Halber unit will make a strategic move by charging into the rat sniper, blocking its path to objective one. Halberds, one dice attack with rending and sergeant at a quality of five plus, and only rolls a three. The rat sniper will choose to strike back. Hand weapon, one dice attack at a quality of five plus, and fails with a one. For his actual activation, the Rat Sniper will hold position and fire back at the Halberd unit. Sniper Rifle. One dice attack with AP1 and Reliable, at a quality of 2+, plus, and gets a hit with a 2. With an AP of 1, the Halberd unit is looking to roll a 6 in defense, and only gets a 2 that is modified down to a 1. Down to the last model of that unit. We will roll for wound check. Oh, it's a six. The Howard unit is automatically knocked out. Fortunately, the rat sniper spent its activations while the Howard unit was still in the way. So the sniper cannot advance over to take the free objective. The crossbowman will take aim at the rat militia. First, we will roll for the two standard models in the unit. Crossbows, two dice attack with rending at a quality of five plus. And only gets a one and a four, so no hits. Rolling for the sergeant. Crossbow, one dice attack with rending and sergeant at a quality of five plus. And only gets a one, so no hits for that activation. The rat battlemaster will charge and take on the human empire battlemaster. Heavy Halberd, three dice attack with AP1 and rending, at a quality of four plus. Oof, and gets a two, a three, and a five for one hit. With an AP of one, the Human Empire Battlemaster is looking for a five plus in defense, and gets it with a six. The Human Empire Battlemaster would choose to strike back at a Rat Battlemaster. Heavy Hand Weapon. Three dice attack with AP1 at a quality of four plus. And gets a two, a five, and a six for two hits. With an AP of one, the Rat Battlemaster is looking to roll at least two fives in defense. Ouch, and gets two ones, automatic fails. The two wounds will be added to the existing two for a total of four wounds. Now rolling for wound check with four wounds against it. With a tough three unit, if the four wounds plus the dice roll is eight or higher, the unit is knocked out. Oh, and it gets a three, plus four for a total of seven. The Rat Battlemaster is only stunned. The Human Empire Battlemaster would charge into the Rat Battlemaster that is currently stunned for an automatic easy knockout.
for the last activation of the final round, the Human Empire Riflemen will advance into Objective 3 to easily take control. At the end of Round 4, the Human Empire still has control of Objective 1, thanks to the Halberd unit charging into the Rat Sniper and blocking its path. Objective 2 is still being challenged. The Human Empire tried hard to remove all the enemy units, but the crossbowmen could never land a shot on the Rat Militia. And for Objective 3, the Rifleman advancing into the zone removes the Ratman's control and their victory point. And then occupation is shifted over to Human Empire, earning them another victory point. Final, Human Empire 2, Ratman 0. The Human Empire will regain control of the old monastery. <laughs>